Hey guys, today we're diving into the ultimate guide on automating incredible content ideas for your cold emails. Whether you're looking to save time brainstorming or supercharge your outreach with AI-generated conversation starters, this video has got you covered. We'll be breaking down every step so you know exactly how to implement this and get results right away. Are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all of the new subscribers joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jake Dawson, and I'm here to bring you the latest in AI sales automation and workflow hacks in a way that's easy to understand and apply. And as always, remember that everything we cover here is to help you succeed. These are not just theories, but actionable strategies you can use right now. Now, if you're new here or looking for more ways to level up, don't forget to check out the school community link below. Inside, you'll find exclusive make.com templates, including the one we're using today, that you can import directly and start using immediately. We've built a whole space for learners and doers just like you, where you can ask questions, get direct help, and connect with like-minded folks ready to take action. And of course, you can always subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of our bi-weekly videos, live sessions, and more. Let's jump right in. All right, today we're gonna to set up an automated system that generates content ideas for your cold email outreach. Imagine this, you're sitting there staring at a blank screen and suddenly, AI comes to the rescue, taking away the stress of brainstorming and delivering your great conversation starters like a helpful friend. You know those moments when you're trying to think of something clever to say and your brain feels like it's just running on empty? Well, don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll have a powerful tool that does the hard work. Picture it. Each time you sit down to send out emails, you'll have a fresh list of conversation starters ready to go. You won't just be another name in their inbox, you'll be someone who actually knows them and cares about what they're doing. And who doesn't want that? All right, first up, we're using a few amazing tools today. Make.com, Google Sheets, the Derek extension for Google Sheets, the Web Scraper Chrome extension, and OpenAI. These tools are like your best buddies for automation and data collection, making your life so much easier. We'll use them to scrape LinkedIn profiles and gather real data that sparks engaging conversations. If you haven't already, check out my last video where we created a lead list using Appify and Apollo.io. I'll drop the link in the description below to help you get set up. This previous video is important because we're going to build on that lead list and turn those names into real opportunities. Now, let's get to the fun part, scraping LinkedIn profiles. In this tutorial, we'll scrape all of our leads LinkedIn profiles to find starter topics we can approach them with. Whether it's a post they've written, a topic they were interested in, or even a birthday, everything counts. We want to enrich our leads' profiles with relevant data, including their job title, description, and anything else that can help us create those all-important conversation starters. Why? Because nothing breaks the ice like a personal touch. Now we'll need to install a Google Sheets extension called Derek. This handy tool helps us put basic data for each lead and works seamlessly with our Google Sheets. To get started, open your Chrome browser, go to Google, and type Chrome Extensions. Head over to the Chrome Extension store and search for Cookie Importer for Derek. Once you find it, hit Add to Chrome. That's it, simple, right? But we're not done yet. We also need the LinkedIn and Email Finder Derek extension. Back in your Google Sheet, click on Extensions, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, type Derek, in the search bar and install it. Now let's activate Derek. You'll need a serial number from the Chrome extension, go to your address bar, find the cookie importer for Derek extension and copy the serial number it provides. Head back to your Google Sheet, go to extensions, find Derek in the list, open it and paste that serial number. Now Derek is set up and ready to pull LinkedIn data straight into your spreadsheet. In the Derek sidebar under Leads, click the Enrich LinkedIn Profiles option. Select the column where your leads LinkedIn profiles are stored and click Enrich. In just a few minutes, your spreadsheet will fill up with valuable information about each lead, like their location, job title, and headline. But wait, let's really kick things up a notch. To find birthdays and other details, we'll create a new table in Google Sheets and copy the LinkedIn profile column onto this new one. Once you've done that, go to File, Share, Publish on the web. This gives us a link to scrape each profile individually using the Web Scraper Chrome extension. Now, let's dive into setting up the Web Scraper. 
search for Web Scraper in the Chrome extension store and add it to Chrome. After installing, copy and paste the link we just generated from Google Sheets into your Chrome browser. Right-click anywhere on this page and select Inspect. In your Inspect window, you'll see many options. Click on the two arrows on the right to see more options and choose Web Scraper at the bottom. Now let's create a new sitemap and name it LinkedIn Profiles. Set the start URL to the current page we're looking at. Think of this as marking your starting point before you head out for a new adventure. Next, we need to tell the scraper what information we want to gather. Click on Add New Selector and give it a name like Link. For the type, choose Link and then select all the profile links on the page. Once you've selected everything, click Done Selecting to save it. Now, make sure the multiple option is checked. This tells the scraper we want to collect several links, not just one. Once you've set that up, scroll down and click the Save Selector button to keep your changes. Okay, now we want to dive into each link and collect data we might be missing. Click on the first link from the list on the page, right-click on it again, and choose Inspect to open up the Inspect window. From here, go to Web Scraper, and then select the LinkedIn Profiles task we just created. Click inside the link selector so that all the data shows up in one row for easy viewing. Next, we need to add more selectors that will fill our table with useful information. If you want to find a lead's birthday, for example, you'll need to click on the contact info selection to see that information. Let's add another selector. Click on add new selector again. This time we'll add an element click selector. Now choose the contact info link. Once you've selected it, click on Save Selector. After clicking on the contact info link, a pop-up will appear with all the details. Now we want to scrape all the data that shows up. Let's add a new selector and name it Contact Data. For the type, choose Text. Now select the entire content in the contact info pop-up. Once you've highlighted everything you need, press Done Selecting. After that, scroll down and click on Save Selector. Now that we have a method to gather all the missing information, let's go into the sitemap dropdown and click on Scrape. This is where we get to see the magic happen as the scraper works its wonders. You can also add more selectors if you want to gather different types of information. This can make your setup even more powerful and flexible. After the scraping process is complete, click the Refresh button to see the results. You should now have all the data you need neatly organized. Once you're happy with everything, click on your sitemap dropdown again and choose Export Data. Download your table as a CSV file. This way, we can easily convert it to Google Sheets for further use and analysis. All right, now let's take our downloaded CSV and drop it into our Drive folder. Once it's uploaded, right-click on this file and choose Open with Google Sheets. Now, let's organize it a little. Select everything in your spreadsheet and go to the three vertical dots menu to create a filter. In your A column, called Web Scraper, click on the little filter icon and choose Z to A. This will make the list go from the last item to the first item, which is actually the right order of our list. The second thing we'll do is trim the text of the contact info. Select the contact info column, go to Data, Data Cleanup, Trim white space and click on that. This will eliminate any blank lines. Now we're ready to add the contact info column to our previous spreadsheet and start making insights with our data. Copy the contact info column and paste it into the full lead spreadsheet. Next, let's hop over to make.com and create a new scenario. In your scenario, add a new module called Google Sheets with the action of search rows. For the spreadsheet ID, pick the one we've been working on. For the column range, select A to CZ, then click OK. Let's add another module of OpenAI to turn our contact data into conversation starters. We'll choose the action Create a Completion. First, you'll connect your OpenAI account using an API key. Don't worry if you haven't connected your OpenAI account yet. I've included a full tutorial in the description below to walk you through this part. So, pause this video, connect your account, and come back here when you're done. For our model, we'll use GPT-40. You might think GPT-40 sounds like the name of a new robot sidekick, but it's actually just the latest and greatest model OpenAI offers. It's fast, reliable, and it can generate human-like text that's perfect for our needs. 
When we set up this message, we'll use a prompt that looks something like this on the screen. You can find this prompt and many others in our school community that's linked below in the description. Now, follow this prompt and fill all the necessary details like first name, contact, headline, education, and more. All of these fields should already be populated in our spreadsheet. We're going to use this information to create conversation starters for your cold outreach. This approach is a smart way to show your leads that you've taken the time to read their profiles and that you're genuinely interested in them. The best part, it's all automated. For the final step, add a Google Sheets module with the action update a row, select the spreadsheet we've been working on and make sure the row number matches the same row number from the first module. Now scroll all the way down to the last column and add the result from OpenAI. You can do this by going into choices, messages, content, and that's it. Now your spreadsheet is filled with many conversation starters ready for your LinkedIn or email outreach campaign. You're all set to engage your leads in a way that feels personal and tailored just for them. All right, let's talk about some practical use cases to make the most of this automation. Picture this, you're a sales manager who wants to equip your team with engaging conversation starters for potential customers without overwhelming them with endless information. With this automation, each member of your sales team receives a neat list of tailored conversation starters whenever they need them. These starters could include insights from the lead's LinkedIn profiles, their recent posts, or shared interests. This way, your team can connect and engage with potential customers in a meaningful way, armed with relevant topics to discuss. They can confidently reach out knowing they have personalized conversation starters at their fingertips, which makes the interaction feel genuine and thoughtful. This approach not only helps your team make a great first impression, but also fosters stronger relationships with leads, leading to higher chances of closing deals. By showing that you've done your homework, you make it clear to potential customers that they are more than just a name on a list. Want to take this to the next level? Here's an advanced tip. Integrate this setup with a CRM like HubSpot or Salesforce. Instead of just updating your Google Sheet, you could use make.com to push those conversation starters directly into your CRM system. This way, your sales reps, they'll have all the latest personalized insights right inside the platform that they use every day. They can easily track which leads to engage with and use the conversation starters to connect meaningfully. And speaking of advanced strategies, how about leveraging sentiment analysis? You can use OpenAI to analyze the tone of each conversation starter. Is the topic positive? neutral, or might it require a more delicate touch? This helps your team figure out the best approach for each lead. For example, if a lead recently celebrated a professional milestone, you could tailor your outreach to congratulate them, creating an instant connection. So let's take a quick recap. Today, we set up an automated system that generates personalized conversation starters for your outreach using powerful tools like make.com, Google Sheets, Derek, Web Scraper, and OpenAI. You've learned how to scrape LinkedIn profiles, enrich data, and create automated conversation starters, all designed to help you connect with your leads on a deeper level. If you found this video helpful, do me a solid and smash that like button like it owes you money. Subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on future adventures in automation. And hey, if you're hungry for even more goodness, check out our school community link below. It's a gold mine filled with resources and support just without the pirates. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember to keep automating and have fun with it. Until next time, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.